Good afternoon from St. Joseph Parish in Mountain View. Saludos a todos de la Parroquia de San Jose. We hope that you were able to participate in this afternoon's Liturgy of the Lord's Passion by live stream on YouTube. This certainly is a different way for us to observe the sacred Paschal Triduum. It's hard to believe that Lent is already over. As of last night's Mass with Lord's Supper, we began the longest liturgy of the year, as Father said in his homily. One could call it the defining liturgy of our life as Christians, as Catholics. Last night commemorating the institution of the Eucharist, the institution of the priesthood, and today reflecting upon the ultimate sacrifice of love by which our Lord Jesus Christ became the mediator of the New Testament, of the New Covenant. Under normal circumstances, this would be an opportunity for us to renew and refresh ourselves in these elements of our faith and the rituals which bring them into action and into being. Under normal circumstances, the work of many hands would have come together to help put together the celebration. We would have worship aids to help guide us through these moments and these rituals, many of which are only done at this time of year as part of celebrating the Paschal mystery. The sacred Paschal Triduum culminates tomorrow night, the Easter Vigil, where our elect and our brothers and sisters from other Christian traditions would be preparing to receive the sacraments of initiation and be welcomed into the full communion of the church. So for those of us who find ourselves at home without our habits and our routines, this place where we would normally gather, the one time of the year when we would go to church three days in a row, perhaps it's an opportunity for us, as Father told us, to reflect in silence and to hear the messages that we need to hear. The loneliness from the quarantining or self-isolation can be very, very present, but we remember that as we observe the Triduum, as we look toward Easter, we being the Easter people, that in that way, we're able to still be together in our hearts. That way, when we come together again as a community, we can celebrate and support more fully our parish of St. Joseph, our Diocese of San Jose.